All right, Patrick. So the one on the left is you from the windup, one on the right from the stretch. So going back to your leg kick, this is really good how you do this on the left. We want to copy that when we go from the stretch. Okay, so your body's going to move in similar ways anyway because that's just muscle memory. Um, but anyway, so if you are practicing on your own, practice getting into the same position when you go from the stretch. Now the next thing, going into foot strike. So we talked about balance. We talked about hip position. Notice that you have good hip position right away. So your hips are faced away from where you're going. Okay, your shoulders and chest are facing away from where you're going. That's good, especially out of the windup. So, but once you go into foot strike, right there your foot comes down. Where your arm is is really good. Okay, as far as how it goes into the cocking position. So this is good if you compare it to when your foot comes down. But what we see right now is your glove side elbow is turn is causing shoulder rotation. Right now your hips have not turned yet. So that's what's initiating your throw is your glove side rather than your, your backside, your hip, your leg. So you have all of this potential. There, there's bend in your hip. There's bend in your knee. There's bend in your ankle. That's all potential. That's flexion. Okay? We want to use that before our foot comes down. So all of this hip movement that you see right here, see we lose flexion. We lose flexion. We lose flexion. That's a good thing. That, that extension of your hip, knee, and ankle, okay, that drive of your back leg is happening after your foot hits the ground. We want that to happen before your foot hits the ground. Okay, so this is putting a lot of stress on your upper half just because you're lacking timing of that. Your upper half times your foot strike really well, but your back hip and your back leg do not yet. Okay, so it's less about what you do and more about when you do it. Okay, so hopefully this gives you a good idea. See, because it's foot's down, then you drive. Here, foot's down, then you drive. And that has to happen before. So imagine the back leg looks like this earlier. Okay, your upper half will react really well to that. So hopefully that's helpful to see both side by side.